up so high Trust in our wings to fly Hey YouTube, welcome to another vlog. We are at our next location. We didn't film at the previous location. We stayed at Keystone Lake State Park in Penn Pennsylvania. Made our way out of Pennsylvania. Now we are in Ohio and this is Cambridge, Ohio. Randomly stumbled upon this site right here, this location here. While I was looking for places to stay in Ohio as we made our way the cross country basically we kind of have like an idea of a route we want to take and then we just kind of look around those areas and see what's available and when this place popped up follow them on instagram as well and they look really cute i'll show you guys the location in a little bit we just got here almost done unpacking i actually forgot a bowl of soup in the microwave so i came in here and there was like stuff all over like soup all over and i'm like what what is that like why is there soup all over the counter and then i'm like oh no i totally forgot that I left a bowl of soup in the microwave, which it wasn't too bad. I just had to wash everything. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. The views from the window are gorgeous. You can see the lake basically in every view from this side. I'm not sure if this is man-made or not, but it looks like a man-made pond lake of sorts. They have those really, really cute cabins across the pond right here. So this whole section is for RVs and that section has these really cute tents if you find them on instagram you will be able to see inside they have heating and everything they look so cute so found them online and thought we should totally check this place out so we just got here like i said let me unpack sorry i'm eating peanuts but i wanted to kind of recap our previous trip since we didn't vlog that at all we were just kind of basically what we did was kids did homeschool caught up on some homeschool and one of the days we just spent the entire day trying to book sites we were having quite a problem very very difficult to find places from wednesday to saturday seems like all the places are booked and come sunday there are so many available availabilities so you want to make our way down to creation museum ark encounter and we were trying to like make it work finally figure that out but we do want to sit down one of these days and book out like the next month or so because Otherwise, I feel like you just waste a whole day booking. But anyway, we were at Keystone Lake State Park, which is like an hour or so from Pittsburgh to the east of Pittsburgh. It's a really nice state park. It had the lake. You could do paddle, rent paddle boats and canoes and kayaks, but they were only open on the weekends and we were leaving on the weekend. So it is Saturday now. I think I mentioned that. We're going to stay here till Wednesday. Tomorrow, we're going to go to Columbus, Ohio because when we were at the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania, we were talking to a couple of, well, my husband was talking to the couple. He's the the social butterfly over there. And he was like, hey, you guys local? And they're like, no, we're actually from Columbus, Ohio. And they got to talk and they recommended the Cosi Museum. So I Googled it and it looks like a really fun museum for kids and adults with a ton of exhibits. So we're gonna go there tomorrow and also pick up some packages at an Amazon locker. So we've been wanting to order things off of Amazon for a while and that's the, the difficult thing, one problem we've been having. Two of the biggest problems, not problems, but things that our viewers have to consider is internet, especially when you're in the middle of nowhere, and deliveries for like packages. So one option is if you are doing USPS, Postal Service, and you know that your package is gonna be delivered USPS, and you know you're going to be in the this location for a week or so then you can ask the post to, you can ask for it to be delivered to the local post office and they will hold it for you it's called general delivery and then you just go to the post office and pick it up but because we're ordering from Amazon it doesn't really work that way so we had to find locations where we can pick it up like Amazon hub lockers and not all hub lockers will receive all of your items like I wanted to order eight items or so and like three of the items would not ship to certain locations I'm not sure why it was all in Columbus Ohio but like one location it would say sorry these three items can't ship to this location I don't know maybe it's the size of the locker or something I have no idea so I found a location in Columbus Ohio not too far from the museum we're gonna pick up our package tomorrow some campsites do allow you to ship to the actual campsite I'm not sure if this one does this one does um, we didn't ask that would definitely be really convenient some of them will give you like a mailing address you can just ship your packages there that's a really great option especially if you're gonna stay there for like a week and you want Amazon to deliver and it does deliver to that location that probably be the best option that way you don't have to drive out 
but not every RV park or place that you're going to stay at does that. So, so there are options out there. You just got to gotta look into it. It's not the same as, you know, sitting at home and click. Two days later, it's at your door. So it's a little different. So receiving packages is going to be different. So we're just going to unwind this first night here. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow for our fun-filled adventures in Columbus, Ohio. Life is a winding road Telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down figured I'd pick up the camera and continue vlogging today. I did film some snippets like on my phone and stuff to include kind of what we did. We got home pretty late, we were tired, so I figured I'll just pick up the camera today, talk about it, I'll share about my experience with picking up at an Amazon hub. That was interesting. Super easy, but there was an interesting aspect to it. We are done with homeschool, beautiful day out, kids are already playing outside, and basically spent the entire day getting rid of stink bugs. First it was flies, the first place we went to. We were on a cattle farm. I could literally see cows like right outside our window. So I'm assuming that was why there were so many flies around, like so many. You would open the door and five flies easy would come in. Probably saw like a hundred flies in the RV our entire trip and getting rid of flies. Flies are like the one thing I cannot stand. I don't know why, but I despise flies in the house. They're just so gross. I cannot stand flies. And now it's stink bugs. They followed us all the way from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So the last place we stayed at was Keystone Lake State Park. And it's about an hour away from Pittsburgh. And they had so many stink bugs there. Like you could literally see a ton of them just outside your window, chilling, chilling on the RV. And somehow they got inside. It wasn't through the door. I'm assuming it would, they would like probably climb on top of the slides. Because we have two slides here, one in the bedroom and then probably somehow get inside. I have no idea, but there were so many stink bugs when we were staying at Keystone Lake State Park. I see one on our window right now, and there's another one right there, and there's one inside the house right there. Probably got rid of like at least 25 today. Easy 20, not even kidding. And I'm like, what? What? Hot? I have no words. <laughs> it was kind of cold the past couple of days, so we didn't see them, and now that like sun's out, they're like, oh, sun's out, bun's out. It's 
let's go inside the RV and they're getting in here somehow and I'm assuming it's the slides and my husband thinks it's the slides too kind of like getting in there somehow they probably don't need much when you squish them they do have like this really gross smell not like a fart smell but like this distinct smell so I'm just I'm literally just like flushing them down the toilet I don't know if that offends anyone who loves stink bugs out there but they are not welcome in this home and I'm just like why like how go bother somebody else i guess every place you travel to has its own like i hear arizona has scorpions and i'm like oof that's tough like that's tough having to deal with scorpions that's tough and there's another one right there on the wall just creeping i can't i can't deal with these stink bugs and they fly they're really slow like they're pretty slow bugs so you can catch them easily they kind of like mind their own business oh my goodness and there's another one right there i literally got rid of like 20 today like what the heck this is so annoying all right i'm gonna get rid of these make myself like a pumpkin cold brew and then kind of recap i hear it buzzing like zzz, and uh recap our day yesterday so much fun we absolutely love columbus ohio so far even though we're in cambridge which takes it took us about, about an hour and a half to drive to Columbus so there and back it's like literally three hour drive which but it's nice to spend the day there they have so much to do it seems like such a beautiful city and then we went to Easton Town Center I'll talk about all that and get rid of these bugs um, which I guarantee you 10 more will appear by the time I'm done and then make my coffee meet you guys probably outside kids are over there playing we actually went inside that little house right there and it has tons of games for kids games for adults where they had a ping pong table they had the game cornhole connect for things like that like a ton of games so it's like a nice activity center coloring books they said they created that for like rainy days like when it's rainy here and there's not much to do I hear that noise like they have like a particular way that they the sound they make when they fly and the smell that they give off just gives me such a headache. My husband's working on the RV right there. So pretty good. It's a pumpkin homemade cold brew. So this place is newer. They said they opened up, I believe, November of last year. So it's been about a year at this point. And then they also had, they already started building more sites. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six cabins. And over there, you can see they're building probably like 10 more, something like that. They already have the place set up for them you can see they have like the cement but each cabin does have AC I believe heat they have that really cute triangle window with the view of the lake you can get the fog on the lake in the morning really pretty and then they have like a cooler I'll show you guys actually roll up and they have a fire pit and some chairs to lounge on and I think they're like $130 a night I have a feeling the wind noise is gonna be super annoying so I'm so, so sorry about that I wanted to show you guys the cabins real quick they have the fire pit, the chairs, and they're all facing the lake. So in the mornings, you get a really beautiful view in at nighttime. So this would definitely be something fun to do if you're in the area or you're willing to drive here. I would totally do it, but obviously we have an RV, so. And then you walk up the hill, and those are the bathhouses. So when it comes to showers, when you're camping, it's a little bit different. It varies depending on if you're gonna be in a tent, in an RV, if there's full hookups, if there's sewer. If there's no sewer hookup, that means you, can, you can't dump your tanks right away. You have to go to a dump station. That means you have to pack up. So you have to be pretty careful about not using, filling up your tanks too fast. And a lot of state campgrounds usually will have showers, bathhouses, which we have used. They're, some of them are nicer than others. And then this one has showers as well. My husband said that they are really, really nice. So I'm gonna go check them out. But this is the view from the top. It's actually really pretty here. If it wasn't for the highway noise, I feel like they would have an ideal location. It's just that the highway noise is a little bit too much. I mean, it's free advertising from the highway, but it is definitely a bit too much. And then these are the RV spots. And there is no dump station. On the website it said there were dump stations, but uh, we were told that there actually are not any dump stations here. So that was a bit disappointing, but you know, it is what it is. Oh wow, yeah, this is really nice. Definitely better <laughs> than any state campground shower. I think they did a really good job with this. It has like a nice aesthetic to it. We have the marble tile. Look at these showers. This is better than like my house shower. <laughs> so it's like a full bath. You have the toilet, the shower, the sink, mirror, some shower hooks, and they actually provide towels. So that's nice as well. And then I'm guessing this is like the hamper. Feels very 
fancy, like the whole glamping. This is definitely glamping. This is called glamp life, and I feel like they did it right. They definitely got it down. It's definitely glamping. I also forgot to mention that they do have kayaks or canoes that you can rent. I think it's $35 a day or so, which I want to do. My kids, I don't know if I trust them. I think he said the deepest part of this lake is 90 feet, something like that. It's pretty deep. It's not shallow. So I don't know if I would trust my kids wiggling around. We don't have life jackets and I don't believe they uh, give you life jackets, but I would love to do this at least myself. Try it out maybe tomorrow because today and tomorrow is going to be a gorgeous day. But I'm going to sit here, chit chat about our adventures in Columbus, Ohio. Good morning, you guys. Oh, look at those geese making a landing. It is our last full day here. Kids are doing homeschool, and I'm going to go sit at that table this time now that it's not windy and kind of recap our Columbus trip. Louise is gonna join me and also talk about Amazon delivery. Hi! Because when I tried to record yesterday, it was so windy, the clips were just not salvageable. It was just like whoosh. Even the clips that I do have, um, you know, they're not that great and I'm sorry. The geese, they're all the way in the back over there. Mm-hmm. It gets pretty deep pretty fast here. One of the guys that works here said that it's a what? A baby fishy? It used to be a something that has to do with like mining. Oh wow, well, now it's like it's not windy, but it's so sunny. It's like you can't win. And I just sat in a pool of water because this side is super wet still from the dew. We're just gonna deal with how sunny it is. It's actually it feels the sun. I actually love feeling the sun on my face, especially in the mornings before it gets to be too intense. Let's get your toys go. But I wanted to recap our trip to Columbus, Ohio. We loved the city. It seems like a really well-kept, nice city. It didn't seem too busy. I think that's what we liked the most. I don't know if it's because of the time of the year. It's October or because it was a Sunday, which you would think more people are out Sundays. I'm not sure. But it really was not that busy. And they, I think they did a really good job with their highway system in Ohio. That's one thing they were noticing. which makes it so much easier for travel. Again, we don't live here. We're just driving through, so it could be just pure coincidence we really liked what we've seen so far and then we are gonna go a little bit a little bit north for our next trip and then make our way down out of Cincinnati towards Creation Museum but if you have kids and you're looking to stop by or drive by here or you're gonna be in the area I definitely would recommend the museum Cosi I don't know if it's Cosi or Cosi I'm just gonna say Cosi now because that's what the GPS lady said so many exhibits we didn't get to see all of them we saw most of them we didn't go to the one outdoors because by the time we wanted to go to the outdoors one, it was already 4.30 and I needed to pick up my package because the Amazon Hub locker closed at 5 and I, it took some time to drive. It, it was like a 10 minute drive by the time you got to your car, um, all that stuff. I, we just wanted to have enough time, which, interesting story. I put in the location for the Amazon Hub locker and on the map, it told me we're going to like Amazon Hub and it brought us to this neighborhood and I'm like, what is going on? Like this can't be right. Like does somebody just like have have like an Amazon hub locker out of their house or something? I was so confused. So I canceled the map and then put in the address all over again and it led me about like right around the corner. I don't know why I did that. I don't know what happened there with the maps, but it was like right around the corner. You can't miss it. It's like the huge Amazon distribution center. And the way that the Amazon hub locker works, so not all Amazon pickup locations are hub lockers. Sometimes they'll be like in a CVS, a Walgreens or something. The way that this Amazon hub locker location works, I'll insert a photo, you walk inside, there's like a bunch of lockers, different sizes, and you connect your phone, you do it through the app, and it says connect your Bluetooth to the lockers. You connect it, and then you just follow the steps, and when you click next, the locker will literally open for your order. Like you don't have to open anything. It literally opens for you. It's like open sesame, opens for you. Um, and then it's, I had two orders, like I split it up into two lockers. I mean, I had one order, but it was split up into two lockers. So it said you have one more uh, package to pick up. So I clicked next and then another locker opened up. So it's pretty cool. Should have filmed it. Like really neat how far technology has come. So that's one option if you're traveling and you want to pick up. Definitely doable, not as convenient as, you know, at your house and you have it like the next day 
but it's definitely doable if you like need something, need something. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for the highway noise, this would be such an ideal location. It's just so loud. I don't know how you, can, how the noise is inside the little cabins. I'd still come here. Like even with the highway noise, if I was local, I would definitely still come here for the cabins. It's just, it's really nice. Kind of like spend a weekend here, unplug, especially um, in the winter time. I can imagine this is like super duper cozy. Hope you guys enjoyed kind of hanging out with us. This is our first Ohio vlog. I think I'm gonna do one more tour where we're going to be going to our next location as we make our way through Ohio and then just keep heading from New York, New York to LA. <laughs> Literally from like New York to basically the West Coast. Hopefully, God willing, anything can happen. You never know, but that's the plan. So I hope you guys enjoyed following along. Thank you so much for following along and hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos.